rural areas uh, in, in North America and really worldwide, uh, I would say have, have suffered from reliable and high bandwidth connectivity. Right? We, Deer, uh, traditionally uh, uh, developed our architecture for connectivity to be a store and push architecture, that meaning that you know, we wouldn't always be relying on connectivity uh, in the early days, whether it be 2G or 3G, uh, to have you know, real-time streaming uh, to the cloud and back down to our vehicles. Um, you know, really, 5G becomes a, a game changer for us uh, in, this, uh, in this space. You know, it, it really allows us to think of real-time connectivity as something less than a second, right? You know, where today, you know, we, we might think of real-time connectivity as around 30 seconds and sometimes not in a reliable way because we, we, we may, you know, go into a zone where there's a drop-off. So if, if you look at this picture here, you know, you might have two combines <clears throat> in the same field uh, harvesting a, a very similar crop. And right now we have to basically assume that, you know, there'll be about 30 to 60 seconds be, uh, uh, communication between these combines for them to upload data to the cloud, be processed, be downloaded to the other combine so they can share information in real time. Right? With, with 5G, that communication between those two combines through the cloud becomes really a you know, less than one second type of situation and it really, really opens up the possibilities of leveraging the cloud in real time and being able to make better decisions uh, in the machines and our vehicles uh, for, for the job of farming. So one of the reasons that communication is going to be important in this, in this scenario from this machine to that machine is you might have an operator on this, in this combine that really understands the conditions of the field and really understands the combine and how to best set it up. Right? And you want that information to be able to reach the other combine in, in real time uh, so that that combine can be optimized just the same way as the other one, right? You might also have applications where there is logistical implications, right? This combine is at one end of the field, this combine is at the other end of the field, and you want real time information about the position of each so that they can make a decision about where to go drop off the grain, uh, for a semi that then takes it to an elevator, right? So again, there's a number of, of, um, of reasons, uh, both around the settings of the machine, why you want that real-time communication between each other so they can be shared, as well as logistical implications of, of really truly having real-time connectivity of machines that are in the field with other machines that are uh, uh, helping with logistical applications of farming.